The Solo Victory Cash Cups are starting very soon, and they are one of the best chances that you will have to make money since the Winter Royale in 2019. So to help you make money in these Cash Cups, here are six tips to help you win games and make money in the Victory Cash Cups. Having a really clean off spawn is incredibly important for the Victory Solo Cash Cups. You need to be getting off spawn at least 7 out of 10 in your game so you can properly play out 7 end games. This starts with having a proper drop map and a proper off spawn plan. Before the Cash Cup, take at least a couple of hours to plan your routes and how you're going to fight off spawn. Early on into the tournament, players are going to be bad because it's a contender tournament, so you can likely take these fights early on consistently, but later on in the tournament, it is likely better to disengage from your POI without fighting so you can play out all of your end games. Next, let's talk about which augments you should be using. Without a doubt, if you get the forecast augment, you should take it. I already have a full video talking about why this augment is way too OP and shouldn't be in comp, but that also means that you should absolutely be using it if you get it. The next augment that I think is really OP is the first assault. This makes the first bullet in your AR do more damage. This is incredibly OP for Storm Surge, especially in round 2. The final super OP augment is the Chug Gunner. Using this augment gives you a Chug Cannon, which is the best healing item in the game. After these three augments, it's really up to you and your playstyle, but the augments you should be focusing on are Bush Warrior, Soaring Sprints, Aerialist, more parkour and rushing reload. In solo, saving your materials is extremely important. This means that you need to be finding other ways to stop enemies from shooting at you than building. The best way to do this is by using the terrain to cover yourself from the opponent's line of sight. On your mid-game rotations, try to look for trees or hills or old enemy builds to cover yourself with so you can save a ton of materials and go into the end game with 1500 materials. In finals in particular, Storm Surge is going to be extremely high because everyone is playing for the win and there's no incentive to get kills. This means that you need to be finding Surge early and rotating out of your POI extremely early in order to get the tags that you need. I don't know exactly how much Storm Surge will be in solos this season, but in previous seasons, you've usually needed about 600 or 700 damage to survive solo surge. Hammers in Chapter 4 are extremely OP and almost necessary to win games, although too many times this season I have seen hammers completely throw games for players. This is mainly because they are being extremely lazy when it comes to using their hammers. When using hammers, make sure you're playing very high layers and that you are aware of where the dead side of the moving zone is. When you go to hammer, try to hammer towards the dead side of the moving zones in order to reduce the odds that you end up in an opponent's box. In these cash cups, playing for win conditions is more important than ever. Winning a game in opens makes it significantly easier to make finals, and winning a game in finals is the only way to make Money. This means that winning games is more important than it has ever been. As a result, if you are in a scuffed position, especially in finals, you should make incredibly aggressive and risky plays that put you in a position to win the game. I wouldn't do this by taking height early though, because in formats where the win is the only thing that matters, you see a lot of teams throw everything at late height takes to try and take and win the game. If you've been holding height since second moving, it is very unlikely that you will be able to fight someone off height in final moving because you will likely have very few materials. Focus on playing safe mid-ground layers in the early moving zones and then get a refresh and then late on third moving or early final moving, try to hammer up and take height and win the game. So hopefully these tips help you place in the solo victory cash cups and if you want some more tips to help you place in duos go check out the video on screen peace